getting laid is a numbers game. You know, I have dudes hitting me up and they're like, bro, like, um, like let's use online dating, for example, right? The simplest way. And I have dudes hit me up like, bro, I don't get like laid on online dating because, you know, I'm like either Asian or Indian or I'm like a fat dude or, or whatever, or like, I don't know, whatever. Guys always have their different reasons why they feel like they're not getting laid on, on like, uh, either on the internet or in real life, right? But I'm going to break it down to you guys so you understand how fucking simple it is to get laid and why you're not doing it, right? See, there was a time when I would have like a ridiculously hard time getting laid and I'm, I'm a pretty attractive dude. I've been told I'm an eight, right? So the thing is, when you're having stupid, meaningless conversations, that's what's getting in the way of you getting laid, right? Because you got to understand, there's, uh, let's say you match with 20 women on Tinder, right? 18 of them are there just for attention, you know, and they have boyfriends. One of them is too far away from you, and then the other one actually lives close to you and wants you to fuck her. But if you're messaging all of them and you're making these ridiculously long conversations, right, um, you're never going to find out which ones are full of shit and which ones actually want to fuck you, you know, without re investing ridiculous amounts of time. And by the time you do that, she's lost interest anyway. You have to literally just ask them for what you want. For, you, you make no small talk. It's just a numbers game. It's like you're, um, I don't know, it's like Halloween and you're trick-or-treating, right? And you're just knocking on different doors until one of them opens up and gives you the candy, right? It's the same approach when you're when you're asking women for sex. You literally just ask them for the sex. And you're going to get rejected a lot because the guys who get laid the most get rejected the most, right? But you are going to get laid way more because you're you're cut you're you're literally saving so much time cutting out the bullshit, cutting out the women who are there to waste your time, which is most of them. I'll break it down for you guys how I do it. Because you guys think I'm such a fucking pimp daddy when I'm not, but here's how it works. Let's say I match with 30 women on Tinder, right? And one night I get 30 matches. You know, it doesn't matter if it's 15, 20, 30. Let's just say 30. Right off the bat, 15 of them are not even interested in me and are there just to waste my time, right? And when I say, hey, you know, I'm just trying to fuck, they're like, fuck you, you fucking piece of shit. How dare you, right? Because they, they get super triggered because they're, um, they're there to waste my time. They're not really into me. A lot of them have boyfriends. And then, so 15 right off the bat are there to, to use me for attention. So when I say, hey, want to fuck first message, they're pissed because they can't suck the attention out of me because I just... I just killed their entire game, right? When you literally, your first message to a bitch is, hey, I'm really just trying to fuck you. You leave no wiggle room for her to manipulate you, right? And when she's not willing to give you that and you're willing to move on to the next one, you've just destroyed her only bargaining chip. A woman's pussy is her only bargaining chip for her to manipulate you or use you for attention or whatever. So when you make your intentions clear that you're literally just trying to fuck, she's either going to say yes or she's going to say no. Either way, you're winning because you're not letting her waste your time. So 15 of them right off the bat are just there to use me, right? Uh, let's say another 10 of them uh, live too far away from me, right? Or they're just not even online, right? So now we're at 25. So some of sometimes they say yes, but they live too far away, so it's not happening. So now we got five left, right? And of those five left, I don't know, um, you know, some of them will say yes and then, you know, still flake. And then maybe one or two of them will be like, yeah, you know what? All right, cool. I'm coming to you and I'll see you in like, you know, a couple minutes. Like that's how it works. You got to understand, you're going to get rejected 80 to 90% of the time because women have so much going on in their heads. They're emotional. They're flaky. A lot of them have boyfriends. A lot of them are trying to use you with her attention. But that's okay because when you are super quick and you are blunt with your intentions, you don't leave much wiggle room for their bullshit. And don't take it so personally. I've had, a, I've had girls where I'm like, hey, you know, I'm trying to fuck you. And they'll say, how dare you, you fucking scumbag piece of shit. I hope you fucking burn in hell asking me such a blunt question like that. And then literally 30 seconds later, I asked another girl that same question. And she's like, yeah, I'm trying to fuck you too. Like, that's hot how you were so 
upfront about it. Like, women are so fucking emotional and bipolar and, and damn near retarded. One woman could cuss you out and call you the devil for asking to fuck her. And then literally 30 seconds later, another one will find it hot and will be on her way to come fuck you. This is literally how this shit works. So you have to stop taking it so personal and just start asking for what you want. Because otherwise, you're going to waste so much fucking time and get laid way less. And um, it it's really just that simple, man. If, if you want to start getting laid fast as fuck, just start asking for what you want. Now, if you want to be diplomatic about how you asked, that's on you. If you want to just be blunt and ask like, yo, I'm trying to fuck, that's on you. But I guarantee your results will go way up because you're cutting out their bullshit. You got to understand most women are there to waste your time. But a few of them are actually there to fuck you. And you're never going to be able to get to the ones that want to fuck you if you're wasting time making small talk and boosting the egos of the ones that are there to waste your time. That's really how it works, man. And don't get so caught up on this batting average bullshit like, fuck, I got retarded by 9 out of 10 women. Because you can only put your dick in one woman at a time. So if 9 out of 10 say no and 1 out of 10 says yes and you're fucking that 1 out of 10, it doesn't matter that the other 9 said no. You know what I'm saying? Even the best guys, like even like I'm not even a pickup artist. I'm not even close. I'm literally just a dude that's above average at getting women. Straight up. I'm not even like a pickup artist, but even the best of the best. These dudes are getting rejected 70, 80, 85% of the time, 90% of the time. That's really how this shit works, man. You're just asking. I mean, if you want to get laid really fast, you're literally just asking for sex. Um, and it's just like... It's like you're, you're like a telemarketer just calling people up trying to get the sale. And, you know, when I was doing the telemarketing thing, I would have to make 100 phone calls a day to get three sales, right? So that's how it works, man. It's the same thing with women. You know, you ask 100 women, yo, I'm trying to fuck you or hey, I want to hook up, whatever. You know, if you ask 100 of them, 95 to 97 of them will say no or will not respond to you. And then three of them will say yes. <coughs> because when it comes to getting laid, Women only give up the sex when they're in the mood, right? Because, you know, they have all these stigmas about being your slut and shit. So a lot of the time women, because, you know, they view it as a power. They're guarding the pussy like it's a power, right? But even they have to let the walls down eventually. Even women get so fucking horny and, 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 and desperate after a little bit. Um, maybe they haven't had sex in a few weeks, whatever. They always have to give up their power. And women hate that about themselves because their only bargaining chip is the pussy and, and they have to give it up from time to time. And it's about just being there at the right time when she's willing to give it up. But the best way to be there at the right time is to be asking so many different women for sex. And then you're bound to have a couple of them that are in that right moment where they're ready to give it up. That's how the shit works. You know, most of the time they say no because they're guarding that shit. Um, but they always have to let their guard down and, and submit to a man eventually. So you're really just asking around until you get that one that's in the mood to submit and give it up and, and let you have sex with it. That's really all it is. Um, it, you know, getting laid is a numbers game. 